The musical comedy Merrily We Roll Along follows the journey of three friends who are pulled apart by the choices they've made. The year is 1976. We are at uh, Frank's Bel Air Mansion and we are, um, we are at the point in his life where he has become this jaded Hollywood producer and it, uh, we are at kind of the end of his time as an artist. Who says lonely at the top? <laughs> The show is really interesting because it, it, it does unfold in, in, uh, in reverse chronology. Rolling along, rolling along. Mary is a writer. She is uh, strong-willed and witty and clever, um, but she's also very attached to people and I think um, throughout her life, as, as you can see in the play, she sort of changes into maybe a more guarded person. Um, because of some of the things that happened to her. William's character Mary tries to keep everyone together, but turns to alcohol when things unravel. Keeping the friends together is, is kind of what she does, and, and when that doesn't always work out in her favor, it really takes a toll on her, I think. Although once close, the characters of Mary and Frank have grown apart and the tension is apparent. At that point, I think Mary still has hope in rekindling some sort of, of friendship, but they are living now separate lives. And I think that her reaction sort of stems from how she's feeling about where they are in their lives. He's living in California, she's always and forever going to be a New York girl. And so I think there's a little bit of, of, of a tension there that, that uh, you know, is, it's visible to the audience. And I think that's what's inter interesting about their relationship is that it's, it's all on view all the time. It's great. Debuting on Broadway with little success in the early 1980s, Merrily Rolling Along was reworked several times. The play talks about how uh, friendships change and how success sort of uh, throws people for a loop while this production sort of life imitated art because his major collaborator uh, was a Hollywood uh, and theater director called Harold Prince who also after this ended up directing the original productions of Phantom of the Opera, you know, uh, uh, Ragtime, major musicals, but their friendship broke apart after this play. Uh, and so they stopped working together as a team, which is basically what happens in the play. It was sort of prophetic. Godot believes this play explores the struggle between keeping our friends and allowing ourselves to change. You have certain friends that you went to junior high, high school with, and you can bump into them 20 years later and it's like you pick up where you left off. And there's other people that you went to the same school with and then you drift apart. It's like, what, so what makes those friendships last versus the ones that drift apart? And so it asks a lot of important questions. At the same time, it's got amazing, beautiful music, beautiful melodies, smart lyrics. So I'm hoping they get a, a journey about life. Merrily, we roll along is playing from February the 10th until 18th. Tickets are available on ticksonthesquare.ca. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Capital Region.